Well, hallelujah, friends. Blessings. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, hallelujah. Well, friends, we are continuing our study in the book of First Enoch, and today we are in chapter 75. Now, I have placed a link in the description box below if you'd like to follow along with us. So if you have that open in front of you, chapter 75, let's begin at verse 1. And keep in mind here, these chapters that we're discussing in these next few days are considered the astronomy chapters. And so they can be a bit taxing on our minds, but I would encourage you to listen for truth because certainly truth is contained within this. Now, if you have a mind that is familiar with astronomy or even science, you may understand these things better than I do. As commentary and discussion is needed, I will provide so. But for the most part, I have a feeling this is going to be simply a reading. Let's begin in chapter 75, verse 1. And the leaders of the heads of the thousands who were placed over the whole creation and over all the stars have also to do with the four intercalary days. Now, intercalary simply means days in our calendars that have been inserted between our regular days, days as we know them. These are inseparable from their office according to the reckoning of the year, and these render service on the four days which are not reckoned in the reckoning of the year. And owing to them, men go wrong therein, for those luminaries truly render service on the world stations, one in the first portal, one in the third portal of the heaven, one in the fourth portal, and one in the sixth portal. And the exactness of the year is accomplished through its separate 364 stations. For the signs and the times and the years and the days the angel Uriel showed to me, whom the Lord of glory has set forth over all the luminaries of the heaven, in the heaven and in the world, that they should rule on the face of the heaven and be seen on the earth. And they should be leaders for the day and the night, meaning that they should be leaders for the sun, the moon, the stars, and all the ministering creatures which make their revolution in all the chariots of the heaven. And in like manner, twelve doors Uriel showed me, open in the circumference of the sun's chariot in the heaven, through which the rays of the sun break forth, and from them is warmth diffused over the earth, when they are opened at their appointed seasons. And for the winds and the spirit of the dew when they are open, standing open in the heavens at the ends. As for the twelve portals in the heaven, at the ends of the earth, out of which go forth the sun, moon, and stars, and all the works of heaven in the east and in the west. There are many windows open to the left and right of them, and one window at its appointed season produces warmth, corresponding as these do to those doors from which the stars come forth according as he has commanded them, and wherein they set corresponding to their number. And I saw chariots in the heaven, running in the world, above those portals in which revolve the stars that never set. And one is larger than all the rest, and it is that that makes its course through the entire world. Chapter 76. And at the ends of the earth I saw twelve portals open to all the quarters of the heaven, from which the winds go forth and blow over the earth. Three of them are open on the face, the east, of the heavens, and three in the west, and three on the right, the south of the heaven, and three on the left the north of the heaven. And the three first are those of the east, and three are of the north, and three after those on the left of the south, and three of the west. Through four of these come winds of blessing and prosperity, and from those eight come hurtful winds. When they are sent, they bring destruction on all the earth, and on the water upon it, and on all who dwell thereon, and on everything which is in the water, and on the land. And the first wind from those portals called the east wind comes forth through the first portal which is in the east, inclining towards the south. From it come forth desolation, drought, heat, and destruction. 
and through the second portal in the middle comes what is fitting, and from it there come rain and fruitfulness and prosperity and dew. And through the third portal, which lies toward the north, come cold and drought. And after these come forth the south winds through three portals. Through the first portal of them, inclining to the east, comes forth the hot wind. And through the middle portal, next to it, there come forth fragrant smells and dew and rain and prosperity and health. And through the third portal, lying to the west, come forth dew and rain, locusts and desolation. And after these, the north winds from the seventh portal in the east come dew and rain, locusts and desolation. And from the middle portal come in a direct direction health and rain and dew and prosperity. And through the third portal in the west come cloud and hoarfrost and snow and rain and dew and locusts. And after these four are the west winds. Through the first portal adjoining the north come forth dew and hoarfrost, and cold and snow and frost. And from the middle portal come forth dew and rain, and prosperity and blessing. And through the last portal, which adjoins the south, come forth drought and desolation and burning and destruction. And the twelve portals of the four quarters of the heaven are therewith completed, and all their laws and all their plagues and all their benefactions have I shown to thee, my son, Methuselah. Now you can read about Methuselah in Genesis chapter 5, but specifically Methuselah was the son of Enoch. Chapter 77. And the first quarter is called the east, because it is the first, and the second the south, because the Most High will descend there. Yea, there is quite a special sense will he who is blessed forever descend. And the west quarter is named the diminished, because there all the luminaries of the heavens wane and go down. And the fourth quarter, named the north, is divided into three parts. The first of them is for the dwelling of men, and the second contains seas of water, and the abysses, and forests, and rivers, and darkness, and clouds. And the third part contains the garden of righteousness. Could this be the garden of Eden? Verse 4, I saw seven high mountains, higher than all the mountains which are on the earth. And thence comes forth hoarfrost, and days, seasons, and years pass away. I saw seven rivers on the earth larger than all the rivers. One of them coming from the west pours its waters into the great sea. And these two come from the north to the sea and pour their waters into the Arathian Sea in the east. Now the Arathian Sea is the Red Sea. Verse 7, And the remaining four come forth on the side of the north to their own sea, two of them to the Arathian Sea, or the Red Sea, two into the Great Sea, and discharge themselves there, and some say, into the desert. Seven great islands I saw in the sea and in the mainland, two in the mainland, and five in the Great Sea. Chapter 78. And the names of the sun are the following. The first, Orgeris, and the second, Tomas. And the moon has four names. The first name is Asanja, the second, Ebla, the third, Benesi, and the fourth, Array. These are the two great luminaries. Their circumference is like the circumference of the heaven, and the size of the circumference of both is alike. In the circumference of the sun, there are seven portions of light which are added to it more than to the moon, and in definite measures it is transferred till the seventh portion of the sun is exhausted. And they set and enter the portals of the west and make their revolution by the north, and come forth through the eastern portals on the face of the heaven. And when the moon rises, one fourteenth part appears in the heaven. The light becomes full in her. On the fourteenth day she accomplishes her light, and fifteen parts of light are transferred to her till the fifteenth day, when her light is accomplished according to the sign of the year, and she becomes fifteen parts, and the moon grows by the addition of fourteenth parts. And in her waning, the moon decreases on the first day to fourteen parts of her light, and on the second to thirteen parts of light, on the third to twelve, on the fourth to eleven, 
on the 5th to 10, on the 6th to 9, on the 7th to 8, on the 8th to 7, on the 9th to 6, on the 10th to 5, on the 11th to 4, on the 12th to 3, on the 13th to 2, on the 14th to the half of a 7th. And all her remaining light disappears wholly on the 15th. And in certain months, the month has 29 days, and once 28. And Uriel showed me another law. When light is transferred to the moon, and on which side it is transferred to her by the sun. During all the period during which the moon is growing in her light, she is transferring it to herself when opposite to the sun during 14 days, her light is accomplished in the heaven, and when she is illuminated throughout, her light is accomplished full in the heaven. And on the first day she is called the new moon, for on that day the light rises upon her. She becomes full moon exactly on the day when the sun sets in the west. And from the east she rises at night, and the moon shines the whole night through till the sun rises over against her, and the moon is seen over against the sun. On the side whence the light of the moon comes forth, there again she wanes till all the light vanishes, and all the days of the month are at an end. And her circumference is empty, void of light. In three months she makes of thirty days, and at her time she makes three months of twenty-nine days each, in which she accomplishes her waning in the first period of time and in the first portal for one hundred and seventy-seven days. And in the time of her going out she appears for three months of thirty days each, and for three months she appears of twenty-nine each. At night she appears like a man for twenty days each time. And by day she appears like the heaven, and there is nothing else in her save her light. Chapter 79. And now, my son, I have shown thee everything, and the law of all the stars of the heaven is completed. And he showed me all the laws of those for every day, and for every season of bearing rule, and for every year, and for its going forth and for the order prescribed to it every month and every week. And the waning of the moon, which takes place in the sixth portal, for in this sixth portal her light is accomplished, and after that there is the beginning of the waning. And the waning, which takes place in the first portal in its season, till 177 days are accomplished, reckoned according to weeks, 25 weeks, and two days. She falls behind the sun and the order of the stars exactly five days in the course of one period. And when this place which thou seest has been traversed, such is the picture and sketch of every luminary which Uriel the archangel, who is their leader, showed unto me. If that's how your head feels, friends, I'm right there with you. As I stated in the last video, this is almost like reading the book of Chronicles. But as difficult as it may be to press through these chapters, we must needs press through so that we can arrive at more inspirational chapters, not too far where we are now. As a matter of fact, our next time together will be the last of our reading and study on the astronomy section of the book of First Enoch. So let me encourage you to hang in there. Don't give up yet. I promise you it's going to get much better. On that note, we'll end right here, friends. I love you. I pray that your journey with Jesus is being blessed. I pray that you're walking in the Spirit every day. I pray that you're spending time in His Holy Word. Let me encourage you, read the Word of God. If you will simply read five chapters a day, pick the book of Ephesians, for instance. Read it every single day for 30 days and watch what it does for your walk with the Lord, friends. Now, I love you, and as Yahweh wills, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.